everybody. Welcome to Wednesday and welcome to the 31st vlog. We've officially made it a month daily vlogging. It has been a very interesting journey that we have all taken and things are going to be changing soon. But we're not going to talk about that yet. First, there's mail. What's going on everybody? Welcome to C2Dub Mail, the episode where I open random packages that you guys send me to this P.O. Box. So, first, we need a knife. Now we have the knife, now we need to open something. We need to open mail. Now we can continue. Alrighty guys, so here's the mail we have for this week. Like I said, that P.O. Box is where people send stuff. If you would like something on this show, shoot it there, and I will open it with random sharp things that I'm sent in the mail. This is the aforementioned uh, ruined knife that people thought I ruined. It's not ruined, it's still amazing. Alright, we're gonna organize things real quick. We have a bag that smells like, this bag smells like something, I don't know what it is. But it's a very distinct smell that it, I know I've smelt it before. We'll find out what's inside of it. Okay. First things first is the letter from one boy, one girl, one bike. That makes three total. Holy crap, it's from Portugal. Oh, you guys are so neat over there. Hello, here I send you my first sticker. Hope you like it. Thank you for sharing your videos with all of us. Holy crap. Portugal? That's crazy! One boy, one girl, one bike. YouTube.com slash one boy, one girl, one bike. That's crazy. What's up Portuguese people? Thank you guys for sending your decal in. It will definitely be added to the decal wall that is still a mystery and hasn't been shown yet, but I promise. I'm gonna keep promising until I inevitably show it. Okay, we got ZT Frosty. Wait, is this a rip thing? It is a rip thing. I don't even get to use my knife here. Oh, gee, what the hell? <gasps> yes! It's Pokemon! Alright, hold on, let's, let's check the letter out. Hey Chase, ignore the handwriting, add this to your collection. I found this in a box of old stuff when I was cleaning up. Ride safe and stay positive. I'll make sure to stay positive. P.S. I hope the stuffed Squirtle is doing fine. ZT Frosty for one, thank you for sending this in. Two, the Squirtle is doing absolutely fine. I can prove that. ZT Frosty, I'm going to leave Squirtle here for now while we continue this conversation. There we go, he should be in frame now. Come on Squirtle, stop being a douche. Alright, ZT Frosty, thank you so much for sending me this Mew, dude. Oh my gosh, that's so awesome. So guys, ZT Frosty sent me a Mew Pokemon card. If you guys are new to this channel, you probably haven't seen the video where I have this big Pokemon project going on. It's literally the only thing I do when I have spare time because it's like it's something I want. I'm making this giant poster thing and I need all of the first edition Pokemon cards. There's a giant list that I have that I, of cards I need and I tell everybody if you like send me stuff in and I'll make the whole thing and it'll be awesome. ZT Frosty, this is awesome dude, thank you so much. Freaking love Pokemon. Oh my god, it is not good how much I like Pokemon. Okay. The bag that smells like something. Dude, I don't, like, I can't tell what this bag is. Like, I, I want to because it smells weird, but... Oh, Jesus. What in the fuck? You have been... You've been pooped on. Want to know by whom? Turn over. It smells like grass though, not poop. Okay, I'm okay with not knowing. Yeah, I'ma just... I, you know what, I feel a little... I feel a little sad for the person, not the person that sent it, I really don't care. But, the person whose job is to go out in a field and put shit in a bag. I'm sorry for you, and I hope things go better in your life. That's poop. You know what? Let's look at the poop. Look, it's poop. More specifically, that's poop, I guess. So not only is it a legit company that sells glitter in a, bo in a bag and will send it to people, but a company now legitimately sells poop. Thank you for the poop. I... 
appreciate it, I guess. We'll, we'll say appreciate. All right, moving on to the box. Outer EQ. I don't know who that is. Look at that. This knife is just as sharp as it was when it was a baby knife. It hasn't lost any of its sharpicity. Hey Chase, here's a couple of hammocks for you and Headed ET to chill out in. Have fun, bud, Dusty Corn. Dusty Corn, what? A hammock? Dude, it's a... Hold on now. I don't know how we're gonna... I'm probably never gonna get this back in this bag, but I'm okay with that. Oh, there's instructions and everything. Look at this. Hopefully you guys can see those instructions. Dude, this is awesome. And it can carry up to 400 pounds. Okay, well, I'm glad I'll be able to fit in there. Wait, is this the hammock? Oh God, okay. Oh, the bag. The bag is in, like, built into the hammock. Oh my God. It's so big. Dusty Corn, I'm gonna figure out how to put this up somewhere, and then I'll show I'll show a picture of it, or I'll show it in a video when I get it figured out. So is this? So that just clips into that. Double, single, uh, super strong, blah blah blah. It says all this stuff, but it doesn't say like these are. How do you? Ah. So it's two cables. Okay. Does anybody know how to tie a hammock string? In the zombie apocalypse, a hammock, not only is it easy to transport, but I could set myself up in a tree, and now me and Headed E.T. could both get in a tree, and then we're safe. Dusty Corn, you might have just saved our lives sleeping in the zombie apocalypse. Thank you so much. This, this is getting added to the zombie survival pack, because damn it, me and Headed E.T. are living through it. We're not letting zombies take us down. We're going to be like, nah, bro, we've, we've got stuff mainly samurai swords and axes, but you know what? That's okay, because that's enough. I, I, I legitimately want to go camping now so I can sleep in a hammock. Look at the bag! The bag, it like, threw up, and then it's the hammock. That's real. oh my god. All right, so now I guess I just stuff it back in. Dude, it's so soft, too. Is it that easy to put back in here? Holy crap, hold on. If that's for real, if I just got everything back into this bag, that's so much easier than anything else I've ever experienced. Come on. Oh, uh-oh, he did it. Whew, look at that. Okay, so everybody be a witness. I just, all right, look at that. I just took the entire hammock out, messed around with it, and then put it back in the bag. So that's freaking awesome. Wait, oh, they're different. So one's gray, one's black, so we can determine whose is who. I like it. Dusty Corn, thank you so much for sending these hammocks. We will make sure to use them one day, if we can? Maybe? Alright, Squirtle, you gotta go over here, buddy. You, you weren't sent in today, so we can't show you off. Everybody sent stuff in today. Thank you so much for sending stuff in. I really appreciate you guys sending stuff in, and I wouldn't even have a show to do if it wasn't for you guys sending me stuff. Once again, you guys can send stuff to... That is where all these people sent stuff in. It's for me to open and uh, to show you guys. <laughs> so thanks again for everybody sent stuff in, and I will see you guys next week on Thursday, opening up more random stuff in the mail. Back to your daily scheduled vlog. Well, guys, I'll see you to the mail episode, whatever that is. I'll figure it out later. So that typically would be the end of the video, but today's video we have a couple extra things I want to talk about before I end the video because there are going to be some changes moving forward with this channel specifically. Before we get to that though, I don't feel like we're like, I think we need like a zoom in for like dramatic effect because that way it's more personal. I think this is probably the most amount of lights I've ever had on me at one given time. So if I'm not lit right now, there is absolutely no chance of ever being lit on this video. Alright everybody, so this is pretty freaking close. So if I was going for dramatic effect, then I think I absolutely, like, successfully did that. So we've made 30 days of doing this daily vlog thing. I wanted to do the daily vlog. I originally... I originally started this daily vlog to one to see if I could even do 30 days of daily vlogging and then there's a couple other reasons I wanted to force myself to do something cinematic every single day and then I wanted to like kind of test myself in a high amount of videos to produce situation and for the most part I think I've passed I made 30 videos in a row every single day for an entire month 
I learned a ton of a ton of stuff. The amount of work I've put myself through for a month has been absolutely crazy. I now have a catalog of 30 days of like every single thing I did every single day, which is awesome for me to like look back on. Realistically, I have also realized that the amount of work that this video series, this daily vlog takes, not only editing every day and filming every day, but running the comments every day, uploading every day, it's a lot to do and it's totally possible if that's all you're doing. If you have a job, if your job is to daily vlog, totally capable of doing that. For a person that already has a lot of stuff going on, adding a daily vlog is not something you can just simply like, oh, I'll just start doing a daily vlog because the amount of work you're gonna put yourself through is a ton of work. Here's what I've decided. One, I like doing these videos. I enjoy making these kind of like behind the scenes, take you guys with me type videos. And you guys seem to like them too. The, the numbers for this channel have been going just like up, 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 up. So I really appreciate you guys watching the videos, liking them, commenting, sharing. Y'all's comments and likes are absolutely fantastic. One of the things I like most about this channel is I can put a video out and we're such a small community right now that it's just full of positivity and I really love that because especially going from the other side where I have a larger channel where there is a lot of positivity but it's also a much larger channel and there is a lot of like inbuilt negativity because that's just how YouTube is. The bigger you are, the more haters get on it. So I love the fact that I can talk to you guys and it's just great comments and you guys are like straight up with me. I freaking love it. So to stop, like I don't want you guys to worry, I'm not going to stop making videos on this channel. What's going to happen though is I am going to stop making daily videos because I mean, let's be real. If we if we all look back in the last 30 videos, there's a couple videos that were made that were just like, yeah, nothing really went down that day. And I do appreciate that you guys like every freaking video. The realistic stuff is like at the end of the day, I have to run my YouTube channel, my Chase on Tools YouTube channel because that is at my core, my passion. Like my passion is writing and recording and doing cinematic videos like the first ride, the, the beginning of the first ride stuff. I have awesome projects in the future that I want to do. I am going to do every single thing I can to make those things happen, but I'm not going to be able to do that with a workload of C2Dub and C2Dub2 at its current state. So I just can't, like, I can't, I can only do so much in a day. So this video series or this channel, instead of doing daily vlogs, I'm going to keep the same type video format just where I'm talking straight to you guys. But instead of doing it daily, I'm just going to do it maybe every couple days or whenever something's happening. You know what I mean? It's not going to be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It's going to be maybe like two videos a week or three videos a week. There could be a week where we just have a lot of stuff we want to record and we do that and we're going to post that. That's going to work best in my schedule and I think if I can make it work, you guys will enjoy it more instead of me. Like there have been days in this last 30 days where... I didn't have time to make a video. I had to sacrifice time from other things to make a video for this channel, but I wanted to in that challenge because I wanted to put myself in that situation of like, a video has to come out. You you are, you are need to, not, I don't have to, but I, I made my own regulations of like, you have to do this. So I kind of wanted to do that for me to see if I was able to. And I'm pretty happy with the last 30 days. There's been ups and downs and goods and bads, but you know what? At the end of the day, I made 30 videos and I did it for a month straight and I got to bring you guys along with me. So I hope you guys understand where I'm moving with this. What this channel is definitely going to be moving forward is you guys will find out stuff before it happens on Chase on Tools. Very, very rarely do I end up editing a video the day before it comes out on Chase on Tools. So this channel is basically going to be a hundred percent behind the scenes and the life of the dude that runs Chase on Two Wheels, me, Chase. Yeah, you guys are just going to come along for the ride to see what it takes to run the the bigger YouTube channel. So, hope you guys enjoy that. If you guys like the content that I've been putting out, it's going to be the exact same type of content. I'm not going to be changing the type of videos I make. I'm just going to be changing how often I make those videos. But you guys seem to like those videos. So I'm going to be giving you consistent videos and bringing you guys along in my life and what happens. So I hope you guys understand. I hope you guys have enjoyed the videos in the daily month. 
You guys let me know in the comments what you thought of the last 30 days of the daily vlogging. You guys subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. I still have some awesome ideas for this channel as well. And I will see you guys on the next video that may or may not be tomorrow. <laughs> you guys are awesome. Thanks for liking and subscribing. I'm gonna find my lens cap because I have to do the outro. So if you guys don't like the new outro, that sucks because I do and I think it looks really cool in the edit to like put the lens cap on and screen goes black. I think it's awesome and that's what we're gonna move forward with. Thank you guys for being awesome. Keep working hard, keep being positive and I will see you guys on the next video that may or may not be tomorrow. Later.